is Emmy, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all having a really good day. Um, I know it's really difficult at the moment, UK has just um, announced that we're going into another lockdown, so I know it's really difficult but I hope you're all still staying safe and well regardless. Um, today I'm going to do a video um, just talking about my project plans for the year. So this year I've decided to do planning because I have a lot of makeup and I'm also on a no buy so I want to try and use up what I have. I thought a project plan would be really good for getting through some products that I don't usually touch or I have a little left of or anything like that. So I'm going to do it every month, I'm going to do a little update, um, see how much I can use up in a month, if it needs to go roll over to the next month. Um, some stuff like powder products that I haven't actually hit pan on already, I might do more of like challenging myself to use as much as I can um, until I get tired of it and then swap out something else. Or if I realise I don't like it and then swap out something else and get rid of it, that kind of thing. Sorry, just trying to get comfy or things that I already am running low of trying to actually finish them. So it's not going to be like I'm using this until the end. It might be that I realise I don't like it or I just want to try something else but I'm going to try and use it as much as I can. So I'm going to try and stick to this stuff for January and I'll update you again in February. Um, and before I get on with the video I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. Um, click the like button if you enjoy the video, leave me a comment because it really helps me out and if you really like my content please subscribe. Um, so you can be notified when I next upload. Um, and then also if you want to follow me with some more, follow me on Instagram. I'll put my name here, it's at Emmy Lou. I've now changed it so it's all matching all my other platforms. I also have TikTok if you want to follow me on there. I don't post on there, <laughs> I haven't posted on there yet. But I might do in the future, so if you want to go follow me on there, it's at Peggy Lou. At Emmy Peggy Lou, again I'll put it here. Um, so it all match my channel as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get on with the video. So let's start with complexion products. I'm gonna do it in the order of how I would apply them. So the first thing we have is we have we have is the Cryolin Primer. Um, is this called? Oh yeah, Ultra Under Base um, Primer. They have two. One's that more for like oily skin, and then this one I believe is for like normal to dry skin. Um, it's a really nice formula, I think, but it just looks like this. I got this at IMATS. 2019 in um, London. So this was like summer of 2019 because I was just kind of wheeling stuff around and I just kind of really like the texture. It's kind of more that lotion-y kind of feel. Um, it's really hydrating. Um, it is a really good primer. And it smells quite nice as well. I don't usually like primers that smell, have like a scent, but it does smell quite nice. I don't find that it irritates my skin, but it leaves the skin really smooth and like hydrated. Um, but yeah, I've just, I've had it for a while and I need to kind of like use it up. So I'm just going to try and use that up. I don't know how much I have left, probably about maybe less than half. Um, but we're just going to get through that. It's a really nice one. Although I wouldn't necessarily purchase it again. I probably would just purchase my um, favourite, the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro from the drugstore. That's like my favourite kind of all over face primer. And then I use like a pore filling primer as something separate. Which the one that I have to use up is the Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. It's like a foam. Or like a mousse. So you just kind of shake it and squirt it out. Kind of looks like that, it's a little bit tinted, um, it's very cold, but then it just blurs the pores, you can see it has like, a little bit of tint, um, kind of similar to like, the professional hydrating one that I like. Um, I find this is a little bit thinner than that, um, and it's not quite as pore filling, but it is very smoothing. Um, but I'm just going to use this up because I have a backup of it, because I really liked it and I got it <laughs> um, with my staff discount, my Estee discount before I left MAC. <laughs> so I was like, I might as well use this up so I can start on that one, um, the new one. So I probably, I think I have about, hmm, maybe like that much left. It's kind of hard to tell because it's obviously like um, a canister, like spray canister stuff. I feel like I have probably about that much left. So that's my next one. I'll be like my pore filling one. Next is a foundation. So I kind of have two sort of products. So the first one will be my face and body. I have, um, as you can probably tell, this is not the actual bottle that comes in. They come in bottles like this or like the smaller version. Um, I just have, I just use two shades, N1 and white, to make my shade. So I use to mix them in this and then I put the remainder of my white oh, you guys I literally just like knocked my camera over and it spilt my drink all over my disc so <laughs> I just have to clean that up quickly sorry about that little interruption probably the universe telling me to clear my desk because it's so messy but <laughs> but in the process I knocked over my mirror which I have this one and then this thing came off and this is a freaking zoom mirror I did not know that was there I thought I don't know why it's like a I didn't know that was there. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back on. I was on to the face and body. Um, where did I just put it? Oh, here it is. So I put the remainder of the white in the, with the remainder of the N1 in the big bottle. So now I have 
another mix there so I'm just trying to um, use up this mix and then I'll clean out the bottle and use that for something else um, and then I can move on to this one so this is gonna be my foundation for the month it's the best one that I like to wear for the winter months when my skin is really really dry because it just sits really well um, and keeps that really nice glow and doesn't like um, leave my skin feeling patchy or anything um, so that's the one that I really like for the winter and I'm really happy to be able to use that one up and then um, to kind of add on top of that is probably the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter um, I haven't really used this one that much just because I find it kind of difficult to work with it is kind of between a highlighter and a foundation for me because I like a glowy foundation that's like coverage but this one is like more shimmery um, than it is glowy so it does kind of fall then like a highlight because when you just have it like that it looks like a foundation and it hits the light and you think it's just glowy but it is as you blend it in it doesn't really sit like a foundation it sits more like a highlighter but it doesn't give the intense glow of a highlight it gives the glow of a foundation so it's just really kind of weird um so I like to mix it in with my foundation not actually like mix it like making a mix but putting my foundation on and then putting this in all the areas that I like to add glow to kind of get a little bit of extra glow because sometimes in the winter when my skin is so dry this doesn't look as glowy it looks a little bit more kind of natural finish so this will just bring out the glow a bit more um but I don't really like to mix it in with my foundation because I find that it makes my pores look a bit big um but it is it is really lovely it's just kind of a bit of a weird product it yeah you have to it's just you kind of have to use it specifically and I know some people will like to use it as a highlight but for me it's not glowy enough for a highlight so I have to kind of make it work powder I don't um use like a setting powder I only use like a pore powder but I do like a powder to add a little bit of extra glow to my face all over and that would be this one the palette lumière du jour from YSL this is a limited edition one look at the packaging it's gorgeous they say it's like a highlight it's not a highlight it's like more just like a sparkly powder but I like these kind of pinker powders just to brighten in certain areas and add a bit of extra glow um just adds a little bit of sparkle I do like that but I don't use this like as a setting powder I just use this like all over at the end just to add like a little bit of extra shimmer where I want it if I feel like I'm not glowing <laughs> um or if I do need to powder down an area that looks really shiny but I don't want to like use my pore refining uh, powder which is my normal I said translucent powder I talked about in my last video um I use this a little bit differently so again I don't put it all over but I put it anywhere all over my face that need that adds needs a little extra glow but I'm going to try and use it up because it's very old I had that I think it's like 2015 Christmas 2015 this is from so it's quite old but I mean I don't really care about expiry dates but let's do highlight slash more glowy stuff um I guess I'll talk about this one next this is the um what they called luster drops from mac um in Barbados Girl this one I got from I think the Rihanna collection um quite a while quite a while ago um but it's just this kind of like bronzy tan color that you blend it and it just goes like a nice glowy hue um it's really like gentle it's similar formula to the face and body foundation which is why it's in one of these little tubs um but just with glow like a shimmer i loved these products i don't know why they don't re-promote these more um they are like a limited edition product but they haven't re-promoted it in ages so i hope they do at some point especially now that like glowy stuff is back um like back in fashion i'd love to see a whole like range of different shades i usually wear pink rebel that's my favorite but this is by way it's a bit more bronzy but it's bronzy with like a reddish pinkish undertone rather than like a gold so I find it works well with my skin tone it's nice to wear coming into like the spring summer so I thought that'd be nice to kind of add in I like to put it a bit wider than regular highlight I like to put it kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury where I use I put it like where I want glow so I'll probably like use those interchangeably um this more like where I want the sun to hit so I'll kind of like put it around here across the nose on the brow those kind of like warmer areas or I might even mix it in with my foundation to add a little bit of extra tint um, and then more like a highlight highlight this is the Gemma Kid Dewy Glow I've actually hit pan on this this is a very, again a very old product they don't make Gemma Kid anymore they haven't done for a while but this is an iced gold um, but I have multiple backups of this because when they discontinued them I got a ton of backups because it's my favourite highlight it just looks like like metal not like metallic kind of not metallic but like it looks kind of wet but it's that kind of similar texture to like um, Super Shock formula from um Colourpop where it's not wet but it is a cream um but yeah I just love it it just looks so beautiful and it's bright without being frosty 
Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a champagne-y undertone rather than like an, a goldy isotone <laughs> undertone or like a, a pinky undertone. It's kind of like in between that kind of champagne-y tone. Um, I've got it on today underneath my highlight. I put a powder, I put, um, oh, I'll put on Silver Dusk from MAC on top, but you can see the kind of brightness it gives. Um, next would be bronzer and blush. Blush I'm kind of going to switch out from week to week because I haven't really got one that I want to hit pan on. This week I'm using the Faffy blush that I have. Again, very old product. This is in Fashion Frenzy, but it's just a beautiful pink. I love it. Um, but that's going to be swapped out every week, so that's not part of the project pan. But I have this MAC bronzer, Bayana Bronze. A lot of people used to call it Banana Bronze. It's not it's like Bayana. Um, this one was from a summer collection, I can't remember, but they brought it out quite a few times. Um, but it's just this nice kind of like cool tone bronzy. So it's not a cool tone like a contour, but it's a cooler for like a normal bronzer. Um, but it's a matte one and it's nice because it's quite like buttery. It's not too dry and not too, um, like doesn't have too much kick up, which I tried to use. Uh, I was going to use this one from MAC again as K on Dream and it came with that Marvel collection, but it's the next to nothing formula. Um, and as you can see, it's more yellowy than this one, but it just, it goes everywhere. Like the formula is so, so loose. It just kind of goes everywhere and doesn't look very good. It looks really yellow as well. So I'm going to get rid of that one, <laughs> which is funny. I never thought I'd ever get rid of any of our MAC limited edition, limited edition powders, but I don't even really like the compact on that. I don't know why. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to collect it, but I don't like the compact on that. I don't really care for like marbly stuff, um, unless it's like really nice looking. Um, and the formula is not really good. I don't like the next nothing formula, but this is just the original like bronzing formula. Um, but I really like that, so I'm gonna add that to my add that to my product pan, baby. <laughs> forgot what it was called um next is lips so oh no actually i do concealer the only concealer i have is a corrector um and that is i probably should talk about it so um it's the boy brown corrector in porcelain bisque just like that i've had to mix it around because it went a bit um dry so i've just mixed it up and it's gone really nice like creamy now but i've had this forever i've had this since like 2014 i think christmas 2014 i think my mum bought me this so I've had it for quite a while, but it's lasted so long. It went like to the bottom and then I mixed up and now it looks full again. So, um, but yeah, I'm just going to use that as like my corrector, not necessarily my, my concealer for like my face, but a corrector for my eyes. I've got it on today and it looks very nice. So it looks good. Um, and finally lips is the lip combo I have on today. And that is this lip liner. This is actually quite a recent purchase. I kind of bought it because I just needed a lip liner, but it's actually really good. It's the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in Dusty Rose. Um, I got a couple of these ones, but they're really nice. They're very creamy. It's a kind of, again, that kind of nudey rose type tone, and it goes really well with pinks. Helps to tone brighter pinks down without making them look brown, um, which I find is quite difficult, but this does it quite nice, and it's really cheap. But it was like 4 99 or something like that. So that's the lip liner I have on. And then this little mini lipstick from MAC. This is Cream Cup. This came with a Christmas collection, but it's just... The cream cut colour, which was my first lipstick from MAC, not this particular one, but the lip cream cut was my first one. It's like a really pretty pinky nude. Um, I just have as many of it, so I thought I'd use that up. And then um, I like to top that with this lipstick. This is my custom lipstick from A Still Order, which I have a video on. I might very to the... That's why I'm just trying to centre myself. Um, I have a whole video on if you want to go see that. Um, it's very fun. It's got a magnetic tub and it says princess emmy on it because i had it engraved and it just looks like this it's like a really really um pale pale pink even paler than something like um saint germain or something like that from mac even paler than that um it's really really pretty and i like it mixed in with more nude pinks to make that perfect baby pink um but i have backups of this they give a, they gave me like extra like refills like they come out like that and they gave me extra free fills to pop in, so I have it for a long time, but I just want to get my use out of that because I wasn't using it. <laughs> and then for my gloss, oh my god, I thought I almost dropped everything. Um, I know I just got this, but I just really liked it with this lip combo, so I just thought I'd throw it in here. It's the So Chilly lip gloss that I got from the Hello Kitty collection from Colourpop. It's, um, it kind of comes out just like a clear 
t tinted pink you can see it's very faint but it just it looks gorgeous on the formula of these glosses are so so good um i'm just not a massive fan of the packaging like the the, the design is really pretty but the component i just i hate it has really high pressure here you can see it like pops out and it's really big <laughs> and it always comes out with like a big glob because inside here i don't know if you can see there's like a hole where it collects product but when then you like take it out you get a whole big clump and it just too much product too much product i know a lot of people have big lip filled lips i don't <laughs> so it's too much when i put it on um and they smell really good though they smell like cookies um but yeah i just thought it was really nice with this lip combo i'm wearing this like every day and i just thought i'd throw this in because i have a lot of lip gloss but a lot of lip gloss this year so i thought i'd throw that in um i'm not like in a hurry because i don't like it i just i really do like it and so i wanted to use it but it's just beautiful baby pink with sparkle um but like i said it kind of comes out more like a clear to tinted pink mm, so good um but yeah i don't really like the component i hate these like really chubby like um ones and stuff i don't know why they're popular <laughs> like with concealers and stuff i'm like i want control i don't want to put too much on my face at once but hey ho so yeah that's my little project pan i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will check in about these products with you next month so today's the 5th of january when i'm filming this so hopefully the 5th or around that time of february i will check up with you obviously it's locked down so I haven't got much places to be but all these products are kind of like my everyday what I like to wear around the house kind of stuff not because like I need to but because I just like wearing makeup <laughs> um it just makes me feel a little bit better so yeah I will check in with you I see how I, well I've done um and yeah so again thank you so much for watching the video hope you really enjoyed um please don't forget to subscribe if you liked my content and want to see you again um like the video if you liked it and leave me a comment below it just really helps me out and then if you want to head over to Instagram and then follow me on there it's at emmy em, emmy peggy lou and then um same with my tiktok if you want to follow me there i might do tiktoks i'm not sure who knows um but yeah until next time see you guys bye